Aloha kako, what's up everyone? My name is Hoku. Welcome to my channel if you're new here or welcome back if you've already subscribed. I'm just grateful to be here for another day to feel okay enough, I guess, to come on camera and record another mindful mirror talk. Um, today I'm actually in my, <laughs> my little space, which I feel good about. Um, I was doing a little bit of cleaning and straightening up. I always feel like that is necessary. Um, just to sort of change the vibe and cleanse the area and sort of move out any congestion or uh, stagnant energy out of this space and like to kind of keep it neat. So also I got some fresh cards, I'll just say. And so I wanted to do a little bit of a playful read. I want to keep things, I'm feeling uh, a lot of air energy and I just kind of try to do this with nails. I'm not going to leave this burning for too long. I guess I'm just using it for now to further cleanse out the space, but to also kind of cleanse out some of these new uh, guidance cards that I got. So I'm just going to be, for now, quickly cleansing them as I speak to you guys so I can go ahead and extinguish. Even though I don't really like to, I don't tend to do that, but because this is a limited space, of aeration um, and I have to kind of keep my curtains closed it just makes the most sense to put it out so it's not too much but anyway um so yes I'm feeling good I'm feeling better feeling just open almost like that feeling you get before you go down on like a really high water slide I'm feeling um that that anxiousness but that excitement that um knowledge that you're about to really plummet plunge you know go on this wild journey ride but that that excitement feeling you know that you'll arrive safely like you'll land safely um at least for the most part we ain't talking about the you know the freak accidents and freak fucking incidences of a water slide metaphorically we're gonna keep it on the safe side but yes um i'm definitely feeling um we're in that portal energy for sure we're definitely like whoo some of us have already slid, already gotten that initial entry, initiation to the portal space. Some of us are still, you know, we still debating whether to go in, enter, to accept, to acknowledge, take accountability. Hmm. Yeah, I just want to cleanse up the cards. And I think that's it. Yes. So actually, I'll leave this burning, but I'm going to take this outside into my bedroom where it's more open. All right, all right. Oh my god, I feel like I always do neutral colors when it comes to my makeup, but I kind of want a little bit of a pop. A little bit of a flare in color, and I really like this Tuscan Toast color that I have from Milani. I haven't really gotten much use out of my lipsticks. It's a little bit more popping on camera. Sometimes I'm heavy-handed with my lipsticks. And other times I just want a little color. But today I'm sort of in between. I always have the neutral, like, glam, I guess. I don't know what you would call this. This is just the, I ain't looking crusty and busted today. So, I'm going to start with these angel wish, angel wishes, little guidance cards. I like how, how they're sized in comparison to the Whispering Woods one that I have. This is just to start with. A clear, open, transparent message for today and for the beginning of this mirror talk. So spirit, what are we needing to hear today? Mahalo. Any clarity? Mahalo. Ooh. Mahalo. So. Okay, so this is the 
signs you are receiving are messages from your angels. This seems like pretty apparent. Like I feel like we're, we already know this. We're already in the element in that portal space of like accepting the journey ahead and the, the guidance from above, you know, but this is just confirmation that the signs you are receiving are messages from your angels. So Mahalo for the reminder, your angels will only give you the challenges that you are capable of handling. Another reminder of hope that I was talking to you guys about in my last video, um, to remind yourself never to give up, to, to hold on to that seed or that little tiny spark of hope within you, even when you're going through challenges, even though you're going through, you know, struggles, even though things feel like they're just falling apart all around you, they're not. Sometimes things have to fall apart to fall into place. So yeah. These are reminders, our spirit guides, our ancestors, our angels are around us and clearing the path for us to continue on this journey forward into the abundance we've been talking about, yeah? This one is, you need to put the music back into your life. Wow. This is speaking on the energy, the dance, the flow of your life. Where have you lost it? I'm feeling stiffness, especially in the lower back. I'm feeling uh, a lack of motivation to get yourself moving. And what that's doing is causing you to kind of create a space that isn't conducive for growth because it's holding you stagnant into this like little, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing fetal position where you're just sort of, I just want to keep my energy to myself. I know that firsthand that I definitely feel that a lot, but um. These are reminders. I'm hearing that this is a reminder that you need to put music, sound, frequency, flow. Go to nature. We've been pulling that card a lot. The earth energy. <sighs> the air energy I was speaking on of breath work, of breathing, of getting the oxygen to push out things that don't belong in the crevices of our sacred space and our sacred energy centers within our body. Our kino, you know, in our head space, in our conscious space, you know, it's... This is all beginning in a very gentle way. And I appreciate that because I feel like so much is already harsh and beating down on us that we just kind of want to get like, okay, let's remember what we went over. You know, this is a very nurturing motherly energy of reminders and feeling for self as well as for you guys. Let's see what the Whispering Woods has to say. our path wander on the path less traveled what you find might surprise you we're putting music back into our lives we're putting dance back into our step we're putting flow back into our moves and into our voice right and that is working with the the angels the guides the divine source that is working with them surrendering to them as they clear space for you and that's moving to their flow that's becoming one that's unifying that's that connectivity of self and spirit that is the path but we have to make sure that we are not just following the tales uh, of others as we try to figure out where we belong that journey is ours to evaluate and to accept and to realize and to reconnect with and remember that is ours so it does no good i'm hearing to really be trying to figure out what you're doing that that's actually reminding me of like you know why i even am here in this space this is just for this is my therapy this is just i love the creative process as well as just sitting and being an open book of speaking to self and you know i think a lot of youtubers can be considered off the wall crazy to just be in front of a fucking camera talking to themselves hold on a minute plug you guys in because I'm about to die. So yes, plugging into source, opening up that energy to connect self with spirit. Connect to you guys. We are on this great path. But it is our individual paths that lead like veins. They lead to one major road, one major path that leads us to source of heart, of solar, of sacral, you know, root of, of of throat, of conscious third eye, of crown, you know, and then beyond into higher elevations. But first we must get out of this body limitation, you know? Any more messages? 
I'm going to leave all of the stuff there. Three and three, I'm hearing. So we have hope. We pulled the hope card again. The reminders, that motherly reminder. Hey, I feel like we're getting these repetitive messages to keep us going you know it, it, it's almost like when you start a new job and you know they're training you but they're kind of just verbalizing telling you what you need to do and then really just throwing you into the lines then to make sure you can handle the pressure and the multitasking or whatever right i feel like this is our gentler trainer uh assistant manager who's training us or this is our this is our more gentler guide of hey i know i'm telling you but i'm showing you as you're plugging along every day to always keep the hope an idea like a single acorn can start a wondrous forest. So that seed, that spark of life, of hope within you, that can just blossom and grow, continue to grow. Wish, wish craft. Make a wish with a dandelion in the wind. It gets carried. Dandelion, when you blow on that dandelion, those are seeds you're spreading. So I'm hearing voice, third throat chakra. I'm hearing expression. Confidence. The confidence isn't just like... I feel like a lot of people just mistake confidence and cockiness and it's just kind of an overplayed conversation I don't want to get into, but the confidence is what stems, it's spirit rising up from within you, from these seeds of hope, right, that are lighting your way and that confidence builds up until it gets to your voice and gets to your action and becomes you or becomes what you project and one of the things that is going to be seen is how you carry yourself in confidence. And I know a lot of times that fluctuates. So that's one of those elements within us that always needs to be readjusted, always needs to be checked, you know, and, and made sure that it is that and not something else, that it is not ego. Um, I don't know if I'm getting if I'm getting off topic or whatnot. But yeah, just speaking, whatever it comes, whatever flows. So reminder. So I'm going to go ahead and play around with this sacred rebels. Or, or what is this? No, this is the messenger oracle. This is what the deck looks like. Just these like muted, olivey toned cards. I'm just doing a another slight clearing. Ooh, not accepting Sienna kicked back. So just gently clearing. Following your own path. Keeping it safe. What's going on for this remaining part of December, the remaining part of this calendar year? Western calendar year. What's going on for the rest of. I feel like holding on. You're not letting go. <laughs> You're not wanting to release something. But what is going on? for everyone, the collective, in this December 2021. Let's go with this one. See the truth. This is our time. Heading through, heading down the slide, heading into the portal, being in the portal. This is the journey we're going through where we might be seeing this all around us. We might be seeing this in our daily lives and really liking it to our own journeys. And really, you know, it reminds me, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing um, Canterbury Tales. Has anyone, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people that have read that. I personally haven't, I personally haven't read that um, in a long time. Uh, probably when I was about 14 or 15. And I really like that like pre raphaelite um, medieval era when I was studying it in um, homeschool and studying it growing up as part of world history or ancient history. But I don't know, it's been a while since I've been in school. But for some reason, Canterbury Tales is coming up because it's like these, these epic tales of a, a, a journey that these pilgrims are taking I believe I, I feel like I sound dumb because I honestly haven't even fucking read it in so long and it's just something that popped into my head because I'm seeing a journey but I'm, I'm, I'm also seeing the tales along the way I'm seeing the the joy of expressing who you are of telling your story of speaking your truth of meeting new people and and meeting or experiencing new spaces within your journey that that are changing you that are helping you grow that might be a little bit scary might be a little uh uncertain and, and you might be doubtful don't be hesitant um to cut one continue to hold the joy but also the hope of receiving 
all of the things that we wish for, all of the blessings of abundance, light, peace, security, prosperity, wellness. Really like, <clears throat> I feel like tilting you guys down because maybe that's just a little out of, but I don't know. I don't want to, I really don't want to be fully like in the camera for some reason, but yeah, this just reminded me of the journey. And I feel like, you know, when, when an owl is watching you, a lot of the times you don't even see them like in the nighttime, in the dark, you don't see them. You might hear them. And it just brings the fact that like, they're seeing the truth. They're seeing into the darkness and they're watching your journey. And you'll be blessed to hear the truth as well as to see it from the perspective of the Pueo, the Owl. This is actually a family Omakua, is the Pueo. Um, in Hawaiian culture, Pueo is Owl. But I always, actually, that's funny because look, I know it's a little messy over here, but I got this a long time ago, this Pohaku, a long time ago at a craft fair. I'll just, I'll just switch you guys back. So I got this Pohaku a long time ago at a craft fair um, in Hilo. I don't know if one of you guys can see that, but this was back in 2013. It was probably about 2000, yeah, 2013. I bought this at a craft fair. I love it because I always have identified with the poil. Um, just haven't gotten my tat yet. I've been wanting to get a tattoo. I just keep switching where and who and what. Who? Who? But anyway, card number 39, 3 and 9. Seeing the truth. We are guard guardians. We, I mean, I embody this spirit animal so we are the guardians to guide you through the way i'm hearing there's there's some of us that are connecting on a on a soul level where you can hear the likeness we are of the same tribe and then there's those of you who might be a part of a different path or a different tribe but that are hearing this tuning in tapping into the truth and recognizing and appreciating the guidance that is offered from this card from this gift of you Clarity. I feel like these cards are so new they still have that like new I just have to break them in in a sense so patience be patient and you see this dragon element you know I think a lot of the times when we watch like dragon movies or movies with a dragon character they tend to be impatient I'm feeling you know there's so much wisdom, there's so much fire, there's so much passion in these creatures, yet <sighs> patience is kind of what they lack. But once they tap into cooling the fire and calming, you know, how, knowing the time and the place to spit that fire, voice, language, you know, truth. Once they are able to kind of figure out the harmony of the music that they share, that comes from within, that fire voice, that fire music, that fire pulse and frequency and aura of them, then they're able to tap into that patience. Because I'm feeling like we're rushing things at the end of this month. We're talking about the end of December 2021. We're going into, wow, the year 2022. And I'm feeling like a lot of us are still learning to see the truth to really accept acknowledge but also to be patient i can definitely resonate with this energy where we need to remember our patience with the path that we're on and that your angels will only give you the challenges that you are capable of handling remember that so like the canterbury tales just enjoy the tale enjoy the journey enjoy the experience of going through all of these memories and all of these these lessons these divine like portals into new spaces of higher self uh -huh. all right any other clarity for the people them spirit mm -hmm. okay wow okay three wow four okay so i feel like this so be without malice. So this is a message. I'm feeling this is a message before I read it. Um, this is a message for the end of the month for you guys. Um, this is a message speaking on where you are having um, a bit of a holdup within spirit, within self. Hopefully that works. And so there's definitely this energy of like hiding face, of hiding... Um, maybe honesty 
having trouble guys all right so hopefully that works okay so i'm just gonna say with this card be without malice card four you might be in a space um, or have these energy spaces within you where there's a little bit of darkness there's a little bit of resentment there's a little bit of possible jealousy there's a little bit of um I'm feeling self-hatred of just like wanting to hide. I was speaking on that earlier, just kind of wanting to kind of do the whole <laughs> don't want anyone near me because there's a lot of dark, um, not so dark, but more so comparative thoughts. There's a lot of like, you're watching, you're, look, you're staring, you're watching, you're stalking, you're like obsessed with someone else or something else or another situation that's making you feel less of yourself. You just, I'm, I'm feeling like this is the energy you have to watch out for before we get into this new uh, year. But I don't even really believe in like new year, new me, set goals. Like it's every, fuck, set a goal every day, set a goal every week, set a goal every other, every other week, maybe um, quarterly or like fucking every six months or something. But don't just wait till the end of the year. So it's not really what that, what that's about, but I'm asking because this is the portal space, this is the portal energy, and we have to watch out for the malice and the uh, vindictiveness and the manipulation that may be lying in parts of our space, our sacred space, that we have to make sure we are cleansing out before we really can enter this new chapter, or otherwise you're going to be rebooted, you're going to go back to, to motherfucking square one, and we don't want to do that because we've worked so hard on life and on truth. So challenge your perception. I want to read this. I want to see what the guidebook... Has. but challenging your perception i'm seeing like there's a lot of light there's a lot of wing there's a lot of warmth there's a lot of nurturing colors in this card and i'm seeing like challenge your perception of yourself you're not fucking this this is not you don't hold on to this energy this jealousy this fucking self-doubt this whatever it is that's lingering like thick ass gallows or mucus in your throat or something where you can't even breathe bitch let it go okay because this is motherfucking you look in the mirror and rise to you, to rise to your highest self. Believe it, because that's fucking you. This ain't you. Girl bye, boy bye. That's not you. You're fucking holding that sword because you're a fucking warrior. Change is unavoidable. We got the change card the last freaking we got the change card the last video. And again, it's inevitable. Change is gonna come. Change is here. It's up to us. Look at look him thinking. Look him thinking, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do right now? What choices am I going to make? Is it going to be something of balance or is it going to be to one extreme or the other? Or is it going to incorporate a center of the cycles of sun and moon? You know what I mean? Look at that dragonfly, moth, butterfly transformation right here. Rebirth, rebirth, death, like the, the rebirth, the growth and, and the um, resurrection, the death, letting go, right? Night or day, pole or oh. Be vigilant, right? Be vigilant. What we got here? Path, yeah? I'm seeing these two together. Be vigilant on your path, on your journey. No, just go in blindly and be like, well, spirits told me go this way, so I'm going that way. Okay, and make sure you get one fucking map. Make sure you get, you're using your intuition. Your intuition is your map. You can sure you're not just going in there stupid, kind of like, oh, whatever. Yes, the space is clear for you. It is cleared by the divines. But be vigilant of the things that, that want to come and swoop in. And knock you off of your path that wants to come in and steal your hope so that you you don't even give yourself a chance to manifest the things that you wish for mahalo mahalo nui okay we got one more new, new deck to kind of play around with i'm grateful for the i'm feeling the heavy 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 but heavy good like that, I'm feeling that that plunge. We plunge in, bro. We there's a steep drop, makes your stomach drop, and then there's the excitement, the thrill, and then the whew. Okay, I'm taking another turn and I'm going down and into another tunnel and, and I'm doing this. I'm I'm fucking surviving and I'm and I'm flowing where I gotta flow. But don't don't be forgetful of just knowing where the fuck you are in your journey, of seeing things for what they are, for seeing what we got. For seeing the motherfucking truth. Don't be blinded. Oh, these ones are real new. Okay, so I'm just going to try. We'll see how to... What are we looking forward to as we go into the energy space of the new portal? I still feel like we're in portal energy because today's the 20th as I filmed. So that's 12, 20, 21. There's a lot of two energy. One, two, two. 
I mean, we just went through the 1212 gateway, but that's where we are. We're in this 1212 space, and it's just reminders that, you know, we got to get our shit right because, you know what, new turns, new tunnels, new plunges is coming up, especially, hmm, we're looking at 1, 2, 21, January 2nd. Hey, my birthday's coming up in January as well. I am a January Capricorn. So shout out to spirits, ancestors, and those present here in the physical, in the flesh, watching. To anyone born under those numbers, constellation. I'm January 14th. Capricorn vibe energy. And I know at the end of the month, we're getting into that Aquarius season. Oh, shit. I wasn't even ready, but spirits said, bitch, stop talking. I'm going to show you these motherfucking cards already. Quit yakking. But that's you, isn't it? And I'm you, you, me. Why you got to rush me? Wow. After the storm, confirmation we were talking about. Look at the pool, the pool. Ah, what? That intuition, that insight, the fucking truth, right? The motherfucking truth. Mahalo. And we talking about, we were speaking on the truth in the storm, right? The, the thunder and lightning and all the crashes and the waves and, you know, like hurricanes that be plowing through. And afterwards, we're going to see that sunshine, kala. We're going to see that blue skies. Look at this blue energy. Holding the sacred, sacred knowledge. Gifting it to you. Wow. Mahalo. I'm going to tip you guys down a bit too because I don't know if that helps. And then we have dream, a beautiful dream. Oh my gosh. After the storm, dream, a beautiful dream. Paint your motherfucking canvas brightly. Look at this alignment. We are earth children. We are guardians of the earth, right? We are guardians of the earth that hold the keys between the heavens and the belows, the aboves and the beyonds and the beneaths, right? Wow. If that made sense, I just that just kind of came out. Um, but this is also giving me the message of the video I was talking about Um in regards to that movie, um, What Dreams May Come, and painting that canvas bright and never giving up hope, never giving up. Divine, divine. I feel like, I mean, I feel like getting another card, spirit. Clarification on the dream, a beautiful dream. What dreams have we been having lately? Because I've been having some crazy dreams. I'm not sure what's the fucking thing of it. Just a very realistic, uh, a very physical presence type of dream instead of being in the beyond and the above space I'm here and so I feel like the dreams we've been having is definitely speaking on purpose what is our purpose where is our direction our path again the path card where is our where is our path leading us to very new cards so forgive me and I'm just I have these nails so I'm testing them out I know people that could be working and doing typing and shit I, I'm sorry I'm slow as fuck I'm trying to count my like one, keep girl, get it together. So I'm gonna have to practice a little bit more. All right, nothing to be revealed from this. So I think I'm gonna go with the tarot card. I'm gonna go with Shift this stuff up. Oh, I think these cards look dirty. Let me know. Do they look dirty to y'all? I don't like having my dirty ass, spongy ass shit. <sighs> I've been watching episodes of Hoarders too much. Okay, that's sloppy. But I've been watching too many episodes of Hoarders to the point where I'm like, girl! I know too many people that look like that. I have found that looks like that. And I'm just like, oh man. I didn't even pose a question, but I feel like this is to be continued. Nine of Cups. This is what you... This is the path that you're on. This is the journey that you're on. This, These are the wishes that are waiting for you. This is the wishes that are waiting to be poured out into your cup, you know? These are the dreams that are about to come true. Um, what else do we need to be reminded of? I'm feeling like there's definitely... This is a space of nurturing and encouraging. Um, so I'm asking what else is there that we need... To be reminded of um who do we need to remind ourselves um that we are um, 
we're going through our tower moments we're going through tower canterbury tales we're going through um like again uh again that portal space portal energy of transformation of lightning and thunder the storms but we got already we got after the storm so and we got five so we got tower moments and revolution so I, i'm feeling like we got to be careful we got to be cautious remember yes this card be vigilant so this is just playing off of um your transformation what we have to be vigilant of so we're kind of looking more at we're kind of holding a few a few more of this energy sorry we're holding a few more of this type of energy in our um i'm feeling our sacral sacral yes our our central our sacral our lower uh, uh spine energy that's prohibiting us from being able to what was it put music back into our life right that sacral energy sacral and root chakra that is tight and restricted because we're feeling so confined within our more vengeful malignant malicious um spiteful energy this is what we are being vigilant of and this is the, the tower moments the things that gotta fall the energy that has to fall um and the the, the points or the um experiences that are happening because of this because of this energy sorry this is what needs to fall this is the energy that needs to be fall that needs to fall and for us to be vigilant of so we can let go of holding on to all of these um kind of more destructive um ideas that throw us off of the path of manifestation that we want to be on any more clarity spirit I'm feeling sloppy, boundless, all over. Focus is all over. Okay, so first one was Ace of Cups in reverse. So we're kind of, we're blocking our own blessings here. We are blocking our own blessings. Um, we definitely have to learn a balance, a harmony, um, Libra energy. We're, we're learning our, we're learning how to figure it all out in order to continue along that journey of accepting our rewards and then we have yeah so we're right now i'm feeling like there's just a shift like we're, we're on this roller coaster we're on this fucking slide and we're going through this portal energy and we was plunging but and, and we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel but like now we are going through another segment of the journey that is reminding us like oh that's maybe bringing up these feelings of are we ready i'm, I'm feeling like are we fucking ready here? <laughs> are we ready is the question and here's like it was separated but it was there warrior of cups we motherfucking got this we were born for this this stagnant energy right here in all of these cards especially the reversals this is the witch this is the magician essentially we are blocking our manifestations because of the ideas that we're choosing to hold on to that don't serve us our higher purpose you know we're ho holding on to the this is all part of the same energy of blocking our ability to manifest um through these tower moments hmm all right i'm not feeling complete i'm feeling like i need to pull i think i'm gonna pull from the okay i kind of wanted to spin it with the aesthetics and then go with this african goddess guidance oracle deck because i'm feeling I love the vibrancy of these cards and I really feel like this isn't complete. We need to get conclusive, a conclusive message to you um, to help lift that spark, to help ignite a little bit more, add fuel to the spark of hope, to get through all of the tower moments, all of the hesitation, all of the lack of confidence, you know, all of that moon energy that we might be going through. So this is for final words of encouragement and hope along our rides on this journey. Damn. Ooh, okay. Wow. okay, so this is speaking to definitely more than one. We're talking about, hold on, let me see. Four cards, wow. Four cards, wow. Okay, so I'm seeing... 
I want to say this is a combination of Earth. Queen Ya Asantewa. Queen Ya Asantewa. I have to read from the book because this is always just an interesting spin on that African melanin um, energy, divine feminine energy. So this is oh, another 39, card 39, 3 and 9. And the first card that we got that was 3 and 9 was the truth, the intuition card. Yeah, damn, I feel sloppy up in here. I wish I had a bigger table, but I don't. Maybe I just need to learn how to place them where it makes the most sense. But anyway, this was also the card 39, see the truth. So it's time to see the truth of our queen energy. So... So this card is in the Temple of Queens, and we're talking about Queen Ya Asantewa. She was a mother, a farmer, and the warrior queen who led the war of the Golden Stool. The Golden Stool throne of the Ashanti Empire holds the Regent's Kra, or life force energy. So she was like mother of creation in a sense. Hmm. Earth energy as well. Again, and I'm seeing water. Water energy from Sara Lakali. Divine lineage. This is going back to your ancestry. This is knowing... That you are guided, protected, in divine abundance and wellness and prosperity. Your lineage holds the key and your lineage holds the power to uplift and to push you forward. To keep you strong-willed in a sense. Let me see. Number six. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the element of water. Ancestors is the temple. Great ancestor Sara Lakali, meaning Sara the Black, was an Egyptian prophet prophetess and the patron saint of the Romani people. Oral history says the Sainte Sara, or Saint Sara, I guess, had the highest divine lineage. Queen, source of life force, divine lineage. This is our, our time to really heal the, the portal space within that sacral area of our bodies. Feeling safe feeling safe is card number four so this card is in the temple of ancestors again feeling safe with the guidance with the direction of our path and element air i was gonna say maybe this isn't because i was gonna say earth originally when i picked up the cards but something was telling me air like she looks like she's holding herself because there might be a strong breeze okay i got interrupted had a whole bunch of stuff happening so i apologize but Whew. so we were talking about Feeling safe, Tituba, Tituba. And that it was an earth, I mean, and that it was an air element. Yes, okay. Great ancestress Tituba was an enslaved Caribbean woman who was the first person accused in the 1692 Salem witch trials. Mm. Of course, she would be the first person accused. She was most likely kidnapped from the Guyana region in South America and then sold through a Barbados plantation feeling safe your ancestors the things that they had to go through the fucking traumas that they have gone through that have been the bloodshed and the death upon this earth you were born through the darkness of that soil of that root energy you were born to see the light to rise in your life force energy <clears throat> as you were being guided to flow forward by your ancestral lineage and then we have this card, Tanit, Tanit, Pleasure, the Pleasure card. I was talking about this the last video too when we pulled <sighs> Queen of Fire energy. This is the, the sacral region of pleasure, of joy, of not giving up, of, of sustaining your, your movement. Remember your flow. You need to put the music back into your life, right? Allowing all of this stagnant energy that we got, yeah? Well... Not those ones, but the stagnant energy of blocking your manifestation powers and blocking your blessings and rewards and the need to balance, to come to a, a center space, you know, blocking your new beginnings and your fresh starts of, of abundant flow being poured into your soul and spirit, you know, you're battling your tower moments, all of that though, you are coming to full circle rise and are guided heavily by your ancestry into the element of pleasure. I'm going to pull one more card. Closing out this message. The closing out of the year. 
as we continue to travel into the new portal spaces. Mahalo. I just had some popcorn too, so hopefully I don't have it all in my teeth. Live out loud, fire, energy of pleasure, of passion. We're talking about Yasigi. Yasigi, live out loud. Okay, I don't think I've gotten this. But yeah, I'm seeing ancestral powers here, ancestral guidance and dance, you see? She's fucking moving and grooving. I'm thinking hips don't lie. Oh, I'm not denying, you know, my hips don't lie and I don't feel the vibes. Yasigi, goddess of living out loud. This is from the Temple of Griots. Um, the element of water. Yasigi has the reputation of being a free-spirited party goddess. Okay, somebody got to get there. There, maybe get back step back onto the scene, you know? Somebody got to get back and bust the move. Got to feel the music flow, feel the frequency, and let spirit grow. Um, for the Dogon people of Mali, she was the first, the very first Yasigne. The Yasignes are women empowered to participate in the masked dances. Mm. So this is about expressing yourself. You have something to say. Share your voice and your magic. Again, this stagnant energy is where we were blocked as the magicians. Blocked from being able to manifest. So this is reminding ourselves as we close out the year and close out this session here. To share your voice and your magic. Express your you Your uniqueness. The way you express yourself won't make everyone happy. That's okay. You're not meant to. Living out loud and self-expression look different for everyone. For outgoing extroverts, self-expression may mean dancing on tables and screaming your point of view. It might mean being more passionate about your expression of self, right? For you extroverts out there. Introverts, I can kind of identify with that. I'm more of an extroverted introvert, but yes. The introverts may speak out in other ways and save the louder parts of their personalities for loved ones. So, but this is a time to be expressive, to be heard, for your voice to be heard, for your truth to be heard, for truth to be seen, for the journey to be taken, the path to be trotted upon, if that makes sense. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close it out right here. I hope this resonated with someone. I definitely felt like I was just kind of flowing. Um, and if it did, then don't forget to go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like to see content like this. That's why I kind of hold this space because it's just my way of when I, when I'm absent from or not in, or not as engaged in, um, that internet, social media, uh, networking, promoting and things like that. I just, I like this space to just sort of turn on the camera and be able to speak whatever comes, whatever flows that is meant for self and spirit and for you folks to hear because I feel like if you're here, you're meant to be here. Um, but you ultimately hold the choice of what resonates with you and what, what you, what truth you want to see, literally, what truth you want to see. So I'm just here to sort of deliver the message. Um, <clears throat> like I've expressed in other videos, the message is just as much for me as it is for you. Even when I don't 100% resonate with certain things that are coming through and being shown, it's all relative. And I and I take that as like pearls of wisdom and pearls of knowledge to, um, to draw upon. I hope you guys have a abundant, empowering, prosperous, healthy, healing day or evening, wherever it is that you are. Um, I truly mean that. Um, we're going into the holiday season. I don't really celebrate traditional holidays, although this year I will say I'm kind of taking a bit of a more lax or lenient stance on celebrating Christmas. Um, we did get a tree, but I honestly love wintertime and I love fall. I'm not even really delving deep into that, but what it is that it symbolizes for me, not the holiday itself, but the season, is celebration of the season of the autumn equinox into the winter solstice you know i love this transitional phase because it's very symbolic of what a lot of us have to go through and what a lot of us are going through at the moment this is our falling leaves moment so we're really just we're cruising this portal we are canterbury tailing our asses up into this bitch and we are preparing for the next cycle or the next portal i was going to say the next cycle of pushes of birth of rebirth of reaching the beyond the point where we feel like we can't go we're pushing into the new space that is meant for us 
We're going into our collection time. Pass the plate around. Fill it up because that shit about to be overflowing. Anyway, I guess I have talked your guys' ears off enough. I'm sure I have. Again, just sending a lot of love and light. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, love, light, and always aloha.